Now we will see how to adjust the body when you are doing the PGN pose, especially the hip adjustment, the round and the square hip positioning. Okay, from there, inner rotation of the wrist, palms well strong and stable, index finger pointing straight, thumbs facing each other. Inhale, kick your left leg up in the air. That's very good. Just look at this square position of the hip. So there is a slight, very minute angle. So you just hold it gently. And body weight should be equal on the both hands. Ears away from the shoulder. Relax out. Look at your belly button. Inhale. Exhale, bend, bring your knee, left knee to your right wrist, oh, sorry, left knee to your left wrist and foot to the right wrist. So it's a straight line. So if you see the angle, it's kind of a rectangle, 90 degrees. Inhale, extend the back leg. Fantastic. As we can see, her hip is touching the floor. So you do not need to put any brick or towel or book. If it's slightly up, then you need to better to put something like a towel or a book or a brick, whatever you feel is better according to the gap. Now inhale, gently roll the shoulders, spine straight, back straight. Exhale, touch your belly to your shin bone. Extend your hands forward. Do not go down. Target to move forward. Extend your hands forward. Move forward. Walk forward more. Hold the floor with the fingertip. Fantastic. Forehead to the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Slightly push the body forward. Gently. Keep breathing from your diaphragm. Five deep and long breath. You can stand here and just add just a little bit to this part is opening up. So she can have a pain here a little bit stretch actually not the pain. How it opens the hip. Now slowly inhale and slowly walk back on your palms. Sit straight. Inhale, come onto your toes, lift the knee up and slowly lift this leg up and go back to downward dog. Inhale, when you are going to downward dog remember it's better with an exhalation. Now inhale. Exhale, rest in child pose. 